know. <laughs> Woo, today I am having Wingstop. Yes, I am. I got four different kinds. Uh, the Bone In Wings, classic. Um, yeah, and an unsweet tea. Yep, I'm doing that today. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back and I'll show you what all I got. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So I have my unsweet tea right there. Um, over here I have, um, well, I don't know which is which because they're basically the same thing except one's red. <laughs> over here I have a Louisiana rub and Cajun. I'm thinking that might, might be Cajun and this might be the Louisiana rub. Um, and over here I have lemon pepper and garlic parmesan and I got all flats. So we're going to try that. <laughs> and let's see, let me open a ranch. And y'all know Wingstop Ranch is like the best. Seriously, the best. I'm just going to move that. Ooh. It's like it wants to. Like, wants to like drip out, but it's not. And this is the blue cheeks. You know, and I'm good with either. Bring the ranch a little closer. All right, let me get a little drink of my tea. Unsweet. Their tea don't have a lot of flavor. Okay, well. I'm gonna put that down there so I can kind of center my goodies here. All right, the first thing I want is typically my favorite thing, the lemon pepper chicken. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and crispy. Mmm. I always get the, bon the boneless. But the classic doesn't have any breading on it. So, <clears throat> yes. Mm. 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 I love wings. Mm. 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 So all in all, <clears throat> I got 20 wings. Cajun. Mm. Oh, it smells good. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Mmm. That's not too spicy. That's what I was going for. Oh man. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm. A little carrot. Mm. 
Louisiana rub because that's a rub and this is more of a sauce so this must be the Cajun oh yeah it's more of a hot sauce like Louisiana hot sauce mmm mmm oh I like that mmm this is the spiciest one I got Lots of finger looking today. Mm. Not because I don't have napkins. Because there's napkins like right there. <laughs> I just don't care. Another one of these. Mmm. Chicken with my sauce. So good. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. I love their lemon pepper. Mm. Mm. That is so delicious. Got that Louisiana hot sauce flavor, really vinegary. Got it a little tang along with a mm, salty kick. Before I forget, see the the little table I've got here, the riser table. Thank you so much to Nick, Nick Avocado, Avocado, you guys, for lending me this until he comes back again because awesome. This <laughs> little table raised up. <laughs> Very nice, very nice of him. I appreciate that. I'm going for the go for the go for the Louisiana rub. Mm, mm. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Mm. Here on my sofa is a little bit of a nicer setup I think I mean not that I won't do videos over on my chair anymore I might but this is kind of nice <laughs> that's kind of nice I like it mm. 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 I swear I'm gonna wheeze through this whole video. from Wingstop. I'm not on keto. Not on keto. Just just clarifying. But these are actually keto friendly. No uh no carbs in the sauces and rubs and whatnot. I looked it up online. <laughs> Cause you know I'm kind of doing a thing at some point soon. So I'm kind of trying to get a feel for what's okay in the fast food realm. <laughs> mm. 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 
Mm. Mm. For low carb stuff. Mm. I'm not going on a diet, you guys. No diet. Diets are a no no. I just want to make healthier changes. And while this isn't super healthy, it's low carb. <laughs> so it's better than my usual, like, carb fest. Mm. Something else is happening real soon. Again, not a diet, but it's an experiment. I don't know how much of it I'll show. But I'm doing it six days out of the week. So at least one of my videos per week will be that. <laughs> I've been seeing this food subscription box on um, TikTok for like for a while now and I've kind of just been thinking about it and thinking about it and, mm, and I'm like why not do a few weeks of that to kind of get myself like acclimated to like no sugar life. <laughs> different lifestyles like they eat I think they have vegan or vegetarian I don't know if they have vegan they might have vegan mm. but low carb keto mm. calorie conscience conscious stuff like that um so for my first two boxes I got 12 meals each Two a day, six days. Or a week. Um, whew, not saying I won't snack or anything like that, but getting ready to like get some low carb type snacks and things. So I'm not eating like a bunch of chips, ice cream. That's like, you know, anyway. This isn't some big announcement. Mm. 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 But I kind of want to show that you can still eat fast food and stuff on low carb thing. <laughs> Mm. They have lots of options. You can lettuce wrap. Mm. 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 Or a salad. But you have to be careful with the salads though. Mm. thing with these sauces well they're not inherently like loaded down with carbs too much as you know 
Y'all know how it is. <coughs> Too much of a good thing. Mm -hmm. I love the crispiness. But I get my first factor box on May 3rd. And then I plan on doing that at least two weeks and then pausing. I just want to see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. But by then I should kind of have my like sugar cravings under control. I hope. <laughs> and I should be able to like cook for myself, you know. Mm. Mm. Which there's no reason I couldn't, but you know, I've been finding that um I don't know, my food obsession has been real bad. Mm. Like real bad. Since I moved on my own. And I'm trying real hard to get it under control and by doing the box thing and kind of taking control out of my hands other than just picking out which dinners I want and sticking them in the microwave for two minutes. <laughs> that kind of like frees me up to just not worry about it, you know. I just pick something out of the refrigerator at random. Mm. Microwave, and then I'm good to go. probably aren't that good on keto either but I'm not doing keto mm. 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 the nutrients and carrots 
far outweigh any kind of carb stuff. I'm not worried about it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So today's Sunday, mm. Tuesday, Tuesday, I go back to see my therapist. Yep. Yep. I told her that I'm kind of having a hard time here. You know, mukbangs are one thing, but ordering food and over overeating and snacking and stuff. Mm. When I'm not filming, it's not good. I need to get control of that. So I decided to ask for help. Mm. 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 We'll see how it goes. Mm. And tomorrow, I'm going to be checking on this. <clears throat> it's online psychiatry thing <clears throat> called Cerebral. <clears throat> and get some kind of counseling and medication for certain things. And as far as I can tell, I'm going to be treated for <clears throat> the big D. <laughs> The, the, the D and the pression, the T, you know how it is. And the angst, iety. Mm, I don't have any chances. Mm. Oh, excuse me. And also the ADHD. I mean, it's I definitely don't have ADHD. I, well, I probably do, Ugh. but it's not like hyperactive. <laughs> not, not in that in the like physical sense, but in the my brain is all over the place, like all over the place. Cannot focus on one thing to save my life, you know. I can't even sit through an entire TV program without someone like watching with me because I'll watch like 10 minutes and I'll have to turn it off and turn it to something else. Not that I'm getting bored or that I don't like it, but my brain just, it's like moves on to the next thing. Like, let's see how this is and how that is. And, hmm. Hmm. And I'm fidgety. You know, for being this big, I, I can't sit still. I really can't. I'm like all over the place. It would help me if I was up around doing stuff. But no, I'm just fidgeting in my chair. <laughs> Shaking a leg. And if y'all couldn't tell, I have a heck of a time staying on topic. Mm. 
So I don't know. I don't know, and I know I have people like encouraging me to try to stay on track. have people with nothing but negativity and that's okay y'all be negative I don't pay attention to y'all anyway <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> mm. I just know that I'm coming to a point in my life where I, I just need to do something very very reluctant to call it a weight loss journey <laughs> if anything it's a health and mobility journey you know I miss being able to get out of my house you know, and while I can, it's extremely painful. And obviously just losing weight's not gonna not gonna fix the issue, but it'll help. <laughs> Kind of the goal, you know, improved mobility. Mm. Mm. And while it's mostly going to be a private health journey, health health journey. Mm. I'm sucking my fingers. Mm. Y'all will still witness low carb type meals from time to time, obviously. You know, lettuce wrap burgers and things like that. Soodles. <laughs> Cauliflower rice. Cauliflower pizza. They have two two restaurants that I know of. Fully devoted to cauliflower pizza. It's very pricey, but I'm curious. Mm. 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 I saw a recipe on TikTok last night, and that was a broccoli crust pizza. Mm. I also saw some guy. Mm. He just cooked up some broccoli in the oven and then topped it with pizza toppings. And my only complaint about that <clears throat> is it was all underdone to me. It was all very underdone. Mm. 
the top has onions and bell pepper and stuff like that. They look still crunchy. The broccoli still look crunchy. I'm one of those people. I like my broccoli done. Like done. <laughs> like mushy done. Even with some brown bits on it. Yeah, like I like my broccoli. Like soft and crispy at the same time even. <laughs> That's why I like my broccoli. So, you know, I would end up doing that my own way if I had to do it that way. But the broccoli crust, the pizza, broccoli crust pizza, it was nice and crispy looking. Just like I said, crispy broccoli is just delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm. 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 Parmesan cheese I dropped. Mm. Mm. I have my broom right over there, so <laughs> if I drop it, it's okay, Candy. Mm. Mm. Uh. Yeah, so this is what I decided to talk about. I didn't want to come out and just say things are changing because Lord knows I fail at everything I try. So. <laughs> this is this is something else. I'm like, you know, am I gonna do okay or am I gonna screw it up or whatever? But the last time I, I did keto, I screwed it up by doing too many like like dessert keto dessert type recipes and bread type things and, and I need to stay away from stuff like that. Mm. Because it really, really triggers me into like wanting to overeat and, you know, I keep looking for the sweet, you know. I need to like break myself of the sugar habit. It's like sugar. You know, and I don't have anything against starchy things like rice and pasta and potatoes. Mm. Especially like sweet potatoes. Mm. But I kind of want to work on my brain chemistry a little bit. Mm. I love my sauces too. Uh, mm. all 20 wings mm -hmm. mm. well like I said I haven't started anything yet <laughs> you don't don't come for me mm. I mean y'all 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 know how it is I mean it, a lot of you people struggle with your weight every day too mm. being a almost 50 year old woman it's ridiculous that I still have absolutely no self-control and no willpower I'm not disciplined at all when it comes to food mm. and honestly if I could just change my brain and the way I perceive food and think about food. <clears throat> you know, I could totally change me. You know, and while I don't care what all this looks like, I really don't. That's not the issue. It's how I feel. And I feel like crap all the time. <clears throat> Just all the time. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of feeling like crap. <sighs> You know, and even if it hurts, I want to be able to like waddle my way out to the car. You know, I've got a friend that lives not too far from me that's got a car, has a past to Lake Mead. Mm. 
and his offer to take me there anytime I want. Dang. Hello, chicken. <clears throat> you know, so I want to go there. I want to go out to the Red Rocks, whatever. I probably wouldn't want to do that until like fall or whatever. Mm. I would also like to go up on Mount Charleston. And see what it's like up there. Mm. Mm. There's lots of stuff I want to do. One day at a time. <clears throat> one small change at a time. <clears throat> I'm gonna start trying to do some meal prep stuff. like small meals and snacks just ready to go mm. things like that mm. plan was to go carnivore <clears throat> that changed that changed I watched some videos <clears throat> online and basically a couple of different people they did like a 30 day carnivore challenge <clears throat> And they did blood work before and after the month. And here's what worried me. Okay, your HDL cholesterol is like your good cholesterol. It like protects your heart and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not fully sure how it works, but I know the LDL cholesterol is your bad cholesterol. And that can hurt your heart clog your arteries and all that stuff well all these people were kind of in the normal range for both but after carnivore both their HDL and LDL were raised significantly the LDL cholesterol was like incredibly high and I'm like oh no 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 I mean hmm Anytime I get blood work done, the doctors are always amazed at my cholesterol. <laughs> I have high HDL, the good cholesterol, and very low LDL. Which means, as far as cholesterol goes, I'm pretty healthy. Mm. 
and I don't want to risk reversing that. So I'm going to stick to low carb, keto, you know, um, mm -mm. I don't know. I, I just don't want to take a chance. I don't want to take a chance. And I want to be able to keep things like olives, olive oil, coconut oil. Mm. Avocados and avocado oil. I want to keep that stuff, you know, in my diet. <laughs> Man, I'm really full. I said I only have two wings left. Whew. pretty good that should keep me full all evening so I'm less likely to snack hmm. this is my one meal a day for today I'm not doing one meal a day with factor it's gonna be two meals mm. Mm. but the calorie count on both of those meals is going to be way under 2,000 calories. Oh, excuse me. Mm. And then if I find I'm still hungry or something, I'll just cook a couple of eggs or whatever. Or have one of my meal prep snack boxes. I do like snack boxes with like a little bit of beef jerky, a couple of boiled eggs, celery, bell peppers, things like that. Mm. Lunch meat, you know, whatever. I just have a little, a little mix and snack, a little mix up kind of snack box. <laughs> Not horribly bad things. But you know, I don't believe any food is bad food. I just believe that uh, overindulging in some things is bad or bad for you, not bad. I don't like, I don't want to, I don't want to say it like that. I don't want to say like, oh, it's bad. You're bad for eating it. No, I'm not bad for eating junk food. I'm just bad for overindulging in some junk food. And it's like, get a little control, giddy, just a little bit. See, I'm not hungry. I'm just biting because I'm bored. And I'm not even bored. I'm just filling time. And I should just wrap it up. Mmm. Wrap it up. But. So that's what's going through my head right now. It's kind of what's happening in my life. Uh, I'm just coming to a point where I need to take stock of what I'm doing here and what I want to do. Take a little personal responsibility. You know, nobody's going to change me but me. You know. Uh, and um, I mentioned in uh, one of my videos with Nick that I've been kind of like trying to work on my self-talk, you know, trying to improve um, the way I think about myself and about what I do. <sighs> and I just want to be better. I want to be better. lost my train of thought <laughs> see that's why good fat is important it's good for your brain <laughs> anyway so 
So, yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> So I hope y'all aren't too disappointed that I'm going to be doing low carb. I mean, I know some of y'all like to vicariously eat junk food through through me, you know. But I need to start thinking about my health, you know. And while I'm not saying I'll never eat fast food or junk food, you know. I mean, I have every intention of eating fast food and junk food. I'm just going to do my best to choose better options you know and and really try to eat like singular portions I mean this was not a singular portion this was 20 freaking wings <laughs> so um but it was good it was good and I'm full you know I, I got that many because it was my one meal and I wanted to be full and satiated and not get squirrely and go like digging around in my pantry for some kind of snack. You know, I literally had my friend Chris come over. He's moved here by the way. He he lives he lives not too far from me. So I had him come over. It was the day before yesterday. And uh he basically made out like a bandit. <laughs> Yeah, um, all of my pastas and, uh, like, any kind of sweet stuff, cereals, chips. Yeah, I just, like, take it, get it out of here, get it out. All of my carbs, you know. I think I've got one bag of frozen, like, tortellinis in the freezer. Yeah. And, and i got ramen here, but, you know, if, if I'm looking, like, for a, carb fix I'm probably not going to choose ramen <laughs> uh, it's here though I mean I have it if I want it but it's not like a like oh my god I need some I need some star starchy stuff <laughs> kind of thing so but I'll, I'll let him take everything I'm like take it out get it out so anything I buy for the house from here on out is going to be carb free sugar free low carb keto whatever you know I uh, just try to get sugar out of my life I mean it's 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 a horrible addiction sugar addiction it's horrible y'all know I mean y'all scream it at me you know every time I post a video you know that it's so bad for you you know and I intend you know especially like after the factor thing I mean you know it's it, the factor meals are chef prepared um, you know, and perfectly healthy and good for you and probably flavorful and, you know, uh, people are like selling it like crazy on TikTok. And I'm like, you know, I'll get a referral code and put it in the description, you know, if it, you get like a hundred, $120 off your first order, you know, which is good. I mean, I got that, <laughs> I got that, you know, and then. Anytime someone signs up under you, you get like $40 off of your next box or whatever. So it's kind of a trickle down thing, you know. If any of you guys decide you want to try the factor, you know, if y'all see that I'm liking it, you know, that would be great. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that starts on May 3rd. And I'll probably end up having to do a couple more videos before then. So I'll do like some kind of fast food, something or other. You know, you get like uh, lettuce wrap burgers, salad, you know, whatever. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'm dragging this out way too long. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for spending a little time with me today. I love you very much and I will see you soon. Bye now. Mm.